Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Fire Emblem Echoes for Nintendo 3DS. Today's episode is all about finishing up Act 3 as far as Alm side goes. There's a brand new dungeon that we do want to explore and I'm pretty excited for it. So, if you guys are too, smash that like button, share the video with a friend, let's go. So, taking a look at it, I spent a lot of time in the DLC going over to the wretches and riches and just grinding it to get as much money as I can, I did end up netting a very cool weapon. I got a three-star blessed lance. And if you three-star certain weapons in the game, you can evolve them to even better weapons, legendary weapons. But of course, they cost like five gold coins. So like. 2500 that's gonna be like a good 30 40 minutes of grinding in that DLC But anyway, I digress. Uh, this is gonna be really good for her because she is going to be able to recover uh, Five health every time and dish out even more damage. So that's really what I want to do for her The only weapon I'm really missing is a blessed bow and Once I have that then I can make a tutorial video based on all the evolutions of the items. I'm excited for that So anyway Let's go through. I'm ready to beat these guys to a pulp. I'm um, really not worried about them. Uh, your resistance for a paladin is outstanding. It's like night and day. It's crazy how good Matilda is compared to Clive. So anyway, I I'm not worried about these guys. We can go to tactics, charge, and I've got the animations turned off. This is just a small skirmish. So really nothing to worry about. Rush the enemy! So let's rush the enemy again and knock him out. We got a silver purse. Hey, that helps out. I got <laughs> you got to collect a lot of money in this game in order to get this going. So anyway, where else is everyone else? Oh my goodness gracious, you are almost down. Oh, look at these guys. Whoa, what's happening over here? I didn't even realize. The mother walks with me. Um, hello? Um do I... Oh yeah, of course I'm gonna go on the offensive and KO this guy, sure. Stand aside! Stand aside! I'm like, what What am I missing here? Are we not done? Didn't realize that there's three little turds on the other side of the screen. Get these guys out of here. Alright, continuing on. We got a, an entire dungeon to explore, right? I love the dungeons. I love the exploration. I love... Uh, unlocking little bits of the map. Here we go. It's unclear what purpose these ruins originally served, but they are now a house uh, and altar to the goddess Mila. Don't call me Mila. <laughs> Alright, take a look at the order. Uh, I mean, we're, we're good. We're really good. We can also see that Grey is ready to become a Dread Knight. He is so close to it. Uh, we don't have any other sword users, so we're all pretty much bow lance users. Anyway. Not a big deal. Let's explore. Let's do this. I'm excited. We gotta go find this Mila statue so we can get Grey uh, ready to go. So the Sylvan Shrine, welcome to it. Imagine how many generations these massive ruins have stood witness to. The dusty air carries more than just the scent of broken, rusty iron. It's like I'm breathing in centuries of history. And yet, I can see the signs of men of ill intent having come and gone with no regard for the place at all. No regard. Well, we are finding some little pennies here. That'll help us out when we need like 2,500. <laughs> oh, what do we find? Some ale, some useless ale for what? <clears throat> Is that like 20? Oh, you're right here, huh? Welcome. He's like, hey. I haven't had uh, a battle in quite some time. Uh, you know, these battles, I honestly don't want to do anything with them because we can just... Charge! We've seen these battles before. Nothing special about this. So let's go. I'm in fine... You're in fine form of late. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> Man, that was too easy. Very easy. We fought these skeleton guys before. I want to explore this dungeon. So we're going to go room by room. Oh yeah, I remember this from the Japanese version. This is crazy. There's like meat wads hanging from the ceiling or cocoons. I don't even know. But we're finding some ale and we're going to be able to sell this ale to those people. The blacksmith family. 
They're going to be drinking a lot because of how much ale we're selling them. And some hard bread. All right, that's pretty cool. All right. Boom. Yes. We found a little area. What's going on over here? Ooh, even deeper into the catacombs. All right, this. It says, Seekers of treasure, come no further unless you possess power. Well, yeah. I've got a lot of power. So I think we're going to be fine. There's a lot of marks in here. I'm surprised. Usually the dungeons are like super stingy with the drops that come out of the, uh, the little boxes and whatnot. So I take it there's a treasure chest, but what? Oh yeah, that's right. I predicted this in the Japanese version. When, when as soon as we open this, there's going to be someone behind us. So of course there is a uh, a, a gold mark worth 500, worth 500, which is amazing. Uh, let's do this. There's a lot of these gargoyles, and that's not that big of a deal. Matilda has anti-terror. Ooh, yeah, time to talk. Let's do it. Clive. Matilda. Every night I dreamt of being able to fight at your side again like this. As did I, my love. I fear I'm so excited I can barely keep hold of my weapon. You do have that effect on me. <laughs> In that case, I hope I don't lose us the damn battle. There's no need for you to be nervous. I'll be right here. Now go forth and tear the enemy apart like the beautiful war maiden you are. I thought you would never ask. Watch over me, my love. My sweet. How could I do elsewise? Oh, that's cute. Very cute. Now I must do my part. Allow me. <laughs> and he doesn't get the KO. Very good. Very What's good. That's fine. We can charge. These are just gargoyles. Nothing to worry about. All of your flyer units... It's nice to get stronger. Yeah, all your flyer units do an additional 10 damage on them, so keep them at bay. Only daily effort is rewarded with blessings. That's good. All right, so I'm going to do this. Just a 66. Dang, Matilda. Calm done. yourself, girlfriend. Easy I'm going to come over here. We're going to do some... Uh, that's all I can do. Lame. Whatever, we'll get the little experience. And then we'll just... Whoever Shots. wants it, go for it. And we're done. Cliff See got it. Now who you trifle with? Okay, these are just low experience units. We don't even have to worry about them. Alright, but I do want to explore this place. Maybe we can find some really cool stuff. The gold mark is worth 500. And if you guys have been uh, paying attention to all the different weapon forgings and everything like that... You'll know that you're going to need a lot of different gold marks in order to get the best weapons. And I can't wait for that. Alright, so these are just little cocoon pods. What are these? It's weird looking. Where are we? Let's tackle this guy. Two of these fools? Allow me. Allow me. Well, you didn't, but nice try. Leave this to me. Oh, that should have been for Luthier. I should have done that. Dang it. Oh, wow. I got a crit anyway. Good job. Yeah, you know what? That's only for like six experience. It's really trash. For six experience. And then everyone gets like one experience at the end of the battle. That's stupid. The experience gains in this game are very, very low. And I think they did that intentionally. Just so that you would keep on playing and want to purchase the DLC... Or purchase the amiibo, whatever. So Okay, so we've completely explored this area, except for this little set of boxes. Maybe a mark or something. Get one mark. And we're good. Oh, wow, even more stuff. Boom! Mark? Oh, some ham or some raw meat. Yuck! You know, you can just, you can just eat raw meat in this game. They go, hmm, that was really good. <laughs> it's dumb. Here, watch. Inventory. Alm, you hungry? You hungry, Alm? You just eat it straight up. Mm, this is one of my favorites. Oh, oh yuck! Ugh. How could you, Alm? I don't know. I don't know what you guys eat on at Ram Village, but probably like raw ram. 
Like raw, <laughs> raw ram meat. Yeah. Anyway, I don't recommend eating any raw or undercooked meats. Got it? You can die. Really? Nothing, huh? I don't know why these... Oh, there's something on the, written on the walls. I was always curious about this in the Japanese version. What did this say? Something's written on the wall. It doesn't seem important. Come on! That seems very important. That seems very important. Also, why would it be there? Why would you be able to examine it? Oh, that's so lame. Rush the enemy. That's so lame. Is that just the localized team uh, just looking at the text and be like, I've become so eh, it's, as if my enemy it's the end of the day. Still. I think we should just kind of stop. Just just type something in there. I don't really want to translate it. We're just like, all right, cool. We'll just so we'll see if we can get away with this. No one will notice. Of course, come on. Wow. I'm getting stronger. Plus six on Alm. Dang, dude. Alm, what are you holding? Oh my goodness gracious, that's crazy, Alm. I think, is Alm holding Taurus? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> we really I don't think I've ever seen a plus six level up. Cliff needs some experience, though. What is he holding? Scorpio shard. Scorpio, wow. 20% on attack, 20% on skill, 10% on speed. Decent, decent. Alright, so there's another little area here. Oh yeah, break through, break on through. Oh, what? Oh, come on. You gotta look like a boss, Alm. Come on, dude, I just fed you some raw meat. You should be ready to go. Boom! Right through the- Hey! This is a water of resistance. Ooh, I should give this to Alm. Uh, I should give it to Clive, though. Clive is gonna get wrecked by any kind of magic spell. I don't know. We'll, we'll be okay. But that's cool that there is another uh, lion head statue there. All right, so this is, yeah, we're done with the area. We are absolutely done with the area. We've explored it fully. We got some garlic, we got some marks. We really went to the deepest part of the dungeon in order to get the uh, the gold mark. And we were finding a bunch of silver marks on the ground too. I mean, again, finding these little pennies on the ground is really not worth it if you have access to the DLC. If you have the DLC where you can get loads of money and on an average like 200 per uh, run, then maybe, just maybe, you'll be fine. Anyway, so that was a Sylvan Shrine. Uh, I didn't see a Mila statue. Did I miss something? I have a feeling I missed something. Hold on. It said that there's a Mila statue in there, so let's go, let's go back in. Hold on. I, I have a feeling that I'm missing it. It says... Uh, they now house an altar to the goddess Mila. I didn't see anything like that. All I saw was the statue, or sorry, was the was the treasure chest. I must have missed it. Or maybe I just didn't. Maybe we did see it all. Okay, so we went through here. Oh, we wouldn't we didn't go this way. Okay, okay. Attack me! Attack me, go ahead. Come at me right now. Good job. Plus you. two, lame. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. That's okay. We got this. Tactics, Press charge. You're good to go. Dun 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 Wow, looking good, Claire. Looking good. I love Claire. Claire is Claire, Matilda, Faye. They're the best. They're absolutely the best. Another feather in our caps. Zero experience. All right, so we're gonna come this way. Ah, oh, there we go. See, I knew, I knew we were missing something. Hey, hey, guys! It's a girl. The little girl has what? Oh, is that the little girl that was kidnapped or something? I don't know. All right, here we go. Gray. 
All right, Gray, becoming our first Dread Fighter of the game, unit with physical prowess and high magic resistance. One of the best classes in the game, hands down. Let's do it. Dread Fighter, what's your resistance gonna go to? What do you mean high magic resistance? That's three. Do you get some sort of built-in resistance plus five skill that I don't know about? Because your resistance right now is pretty trash. It should be like resistance plus ten. All right, there we go. What's this thing behind you? I was always curious about that. What's the point of that? Well, here goes nothing. Resistance plus five. Uh, Apatrope? What the heck is that? But resistance plus five is okay, right? Apatrope. Halves damage, damage from magic, are you kidding me? And you have resistance plus five? Wow, that's a broken class. That is so broken. All right, we're gonna proceed in. Hey, more lion heads. Lion head? Lion head? Okay, HP water pours forth. Who will drink from it? I don't know. HP water. And we have experience. Water of experience. Okay, okay, looking good. And of course, you can always chop down the little grass over here for some marks. But it's not even worth it. Okay, so in this entire place, you can get one gold mark. You can find a Milla statue, or a Milla idol. You can indeed, um, wah, wah, leave me alone, I just fought you fools. Uh, and then of course you can get uh, those, all those little lion heads. Giant head, giant head? Anyone at 90? No one's at 90. Okay, let's go. We're just gonna charge these guys, we're gonna get out of here, and we're gonna go do one more battle. One main battle. I'll turn the combat animations on. Trust me, you don't make it look easy, Elm. Yeah, it is pretty easy. And I'm not even holding, like, the, the good weapons, right? What, it, what was the point of this area? Why did they allow me to open it? What's the point of that? Why would the developers... Oh, weird. Oh, what happens if, at the end of the game? You come back to this area, and those boulders are moved. And that's where you find the Gladivus. Right? The Gladivus, the uh, super legendary uh, lance in the game. You could turn a blessed lance into a Gladivus, believe it or not. That's what I'm aiming for. Gladivus is going to be pretty cool. We've got a lot of lance users. That's why I opted for that route. Okay, so here we go. Enemy squad awaits. Engage! Let's see, forest north side battle, okay? View map, what are we doing? Okay, ooh, Regalian army. All right, so this guy, this lady teleports. Uh, we have, ooh, Gazelle, his name is Gazelle. Ha, <laughs> Gazelle. Nice hair though, right? He's got like a one on the sides. He, uh, his hair actually looks like my hair, but he's he's wearing it kind of like flat. <laughs> That's so crazy. He's got a one on the sides, like looking at that one on the sides. He's got like maybe uh, maybe like a seven, eight on top. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oh, it's so weird. Anyway, nice hair, dude. Uh, then of course we've got this witch. Uh, really, again, nothing to worry about. There's no stray units over here in the grass, so we can do some work. We can indeed do some work. Your best bet is to bring Silk over here and use Silk to warp one of the units over here to block the, the path. And I want to bring Luthier over there. Because Luthier is just a boss. Or we can we can warp Matilda over there. And then have Luthier do uh, some other stuff. Where's Matilda? Oh, here you are. The mother walks with me. Uh, nope. How about this? You move all the way above the tree, one space above Leave the tree. To We're gonna go right here. Yeah, right there. That's gonna be pretty cool. At least I hope that's gonna do some work for us. And of course, Clive is gonna head on over there to help her out. We also have you here. Uh, let's go to animations, turn them on, skip actions off. Uh, zoom in a little bit more so it looks cooler. 
And of course, we can indeed uh, rally up all of our troops. Look at this Dreadfighter, he kind of looks like a hunchback. Well, I don't know about that overworld sprite. That kind of looks like Boo Boo, man. Looks like a, well, I, I guess he's not really hunched over, but he's just like being a ninja. Yeah, that does look cool. Good job of cutting that grass around you, buddy. I don't know. He he looks like a, a spiky hunchback with a sword and a Mario hat. Can you guys see that? A spiky hunchback <laughs> with a Mario hat. That's not even on him. It's like just over here. I don't know. Whatever, though. It doesn't matter. Does not matter at all. Twist my arm. Just say the word. All right, don't worry. I will just say the word. We'll we'll get everyone on board. We don't really want to overextend our stay. I think Matilda can take a magic hit or two. Allow me. But of course, if you don't want to do Matilda over there, you can always do one of your um, heavy units just to block that spot. And look, oh my goodness. Nine damage. 77. Boom. <sighs> well, I'm spent. <laughs> yeah, that took a lot out of you. Three damage, excuse me. I thought this would be like taking one damage a piece. That's not good. I thought this Blessed Lance would be offsetting the damage that I took every turn. But Luthier would have been the stronger choice right here. Absolutely. Yeah, you need to get out of here. Luthier, where are you? Get over there. I need that bulk. That bulky Luthier. Come here. You do go over there, right? Okay, so, um... What was I thinking? I, I, I'm totally on this, like, Matilda high right now. Uh, Matilda, y yeah, this is this is not gonna work. Matilda, you can just hang out here. All right, goodbye. You warp, get over there. Get over there, boy. See ya. All right, definitely wouldn't want to be you fools. We could just do fire. Yeah, fire will be good enough because everyone, it'll be a two-round KO in order for for me to get these guys. He is gonna take a lot of chip damage though, that's kind of silly. And do you guys actually... Oh, you can cross the water and do some work, okay. That's cool and all. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to like start attacking some of these guys. Yeah, why not? All right, not bad. None of these guys actually have a bow. Ooh, wait, hold on, hold on. What do you have? You have a silver purse plus. And no, no, you, you don't have an actual bow that's going give, to give super effective damage to our units. So we're okay. I do want to take care of the other witch. Isn't there one? Yeah, there is. Let's just get out of here. Okay, we're just gonna wait right here, nice and uh, safe along the lines. Gonna be fine. We're gonna recover you, and we should be good. This is all about Luthier, right? It's a Luthier-esque act. Luthier. Why aren't you hitting him? Oh, because it's a it's a long shot. Dude, no way! I thought you'd be like retaliating with thunder every time, but no. Even putting Luthier over here is not going to do it. He's just shrugging off these hits, which is cool and all, but... We need to go all-out attack on them. I'm sorry, but Luthier, I can't baby you any longer. Alright. You have taken your last step in this realm. Now prepare to visit the next! Five damage, okay. Try this one. Huh, that guy's running away. All right, we need to charge now. 
Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do fire. Oh no, we're gonna do Excalibur. No, we're gonna do thunder on this guy. 70% hit accuracy. He's in the bushes, doesn't matter. It's magic. And we miss it. Oh, we had one shot. We had one shot to get him. Alright, Luth. Lex Luthier. <laughs> Lex Luther. Lex. We're just gonna call him Lex from now on. Two more damage? Come on, get a crit. 14%. He's gonna go run to that heal tile, no doubt. Or, we can go do some work on him. Yeah, finish him off, girlfriend. Do it. No. To die at the hands of worthless vermin. How shameful. Worthless vermin? Ouch, man, that hurts. Give me that hundred bucks. You want some of this? Come here. You are lucky I can't KO you. What? I've seen that before. Where he does a backflip dodge. That's crazy. Alright, let's just go after these fools. I know we're gonna get pelted by arrows. In the name of Sophia! <laughs> For the glory of Hoshido! Right, right. You have yes. Good job. Uh, Matilda. Matilda, how much health do you have? Oh, you're good. You're right next to Clive, too. Do some work. Oh, one damage? Come on. Get a crit. 35% crit rate. You're kidding! Two 35% and you couldn't do it. Wow, okay. Alright. Alright, let's get this dread fighter in action, shall we? Uh you can go right here to KO this guy, because he seems to be a little bit stronger. Dread fighter, hunchback Mario, let's go. Okay. Come on. Damn, I'm good. How did you do that? Oh, very good. That was very good. How in the world did you even do that? Cliff! Oh, come on, Cliff, go! Alright, so now we're gonna get pelted. Ooh, right here! Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, it's four damage. Good thing you didn't go after Clive, because Clive would have been rocked. See, now we're just boosting supports, which is great. Every time we take a hit and we're right next to Clive, we're just boosting it. So that's exactly what we want. I wish that happened like on turn one, but we're gonna be okay. Alright, here we go. I need to get this guy with some fire. Super accurate one damage fire. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go for you. One damage, come on! Oh, I should have gone on like top. Okay, yeah, yeah, I should have. Alright, whatever. How about if I do this and attack this guy? And then I attack the winch. Are you finished? He kinda looks like uh Python right there. Here we go. We got this. Two hits. Bless Lance. No. I dedicate this victory to you. <laughs> Me, right? I, I, I'm always confused when she says that. All right, let's see some ninjas. Do we want to see some ninjas? I'm going to go right here. I'm gonna knock this guy out. Oh, you can't knock him out. What? That's okay. Don't worry. We got we got a ninja that can finish it for you. Never mind. All right, here we go. Ninja time. Sneak up right behind him. These animations for the Dreadfighter look pretty sweet. 
Alright, that was cool. And now... Come on, Faye. Look at this crit rate. Look at this crit rate that we're getting. Since we're right next to Alm. We're 22. Come on. That's like 25. There we go. No more. Gotcha. <laughs> thank you. No, thank you. That was wonderful. Not bad. Horses can't go through the water. Dang it. Should go around the water, though. Tactic charge! Oh, I, I'm, I'm too lazy to move these guys. I'll let them move themselves. Okay, so this guy, he's just a regular old dude. Come on, Luthier, you could take him. Luthier, can you take him? If I go Excalibur, you can take him. Ugh, oh, one HP, what's that nonsense? How about you? I want Luthier to have it. Okay, good. It will hit him twice, and then we go Luthier, unless barring a 14% crit. Got it. Dun 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 Oh no, I gotta do fire. It's more accurate. Or 95 accurate Excalibur. There we go. For the one damage crit. No, that's okay. Not even a challenge. Good job, Lex. I'm gonna forget that by the next episode. Watch. <laughs> Man, that was too easy. Was it though? Maybe. Ooh, something's happening. Back so soon, Burkut? Sire, I was merely... Are the tales true? You challenged the deliverance for sport and lost? <laughs> Forgive me, Uncle. They proved to be more skilled than I first imagined. Hmm. What a most distressing turn of events. Our own Lord Burkut, broken by a band of farmers and cowhands. Did you mean to drag your knight's honor through the dung whilst playing? Hold your tongue. You are a servant to our house, and you dare insult Regal's finest? It is far more sensible for clods such as you to stay cowering in your robes. You forget that we answer to none but Duma, father of all Regal. Though I may be a servant, it is certainly not to you. We shall see who cowers in the end. What are you implying? Emperor Rudolph, allow me to put your heart at ease. It is true that the Deliverance is nearing the Sluice Gate at our border. However, it is guarded by Tatara, one of the Duma Faithful's finest Arcanists. And as I understand it, he has come across a most interesting toy. I have the utmost faith he will make short work of those rebels. <laughs> Sire! What now, Burkut? Tatara may yet fail. Permit me to take my men to the border. If the Deliverance does break past the sluice, they must reckon with me. Mm. This time I will smash their puny rebellion once and for all. I swear it. You must give me one last chance. Very well. If they try to set foot on our land, they are to pay dearly. Am I understood? Yes, Uncle. Sire. What silliness. The rebels will be dead long before they reach the border. <laughs> Burkut, my lord. Have you finished your report to the Emperor? Yes. We march for the border. Again? But we only just returned home. It was my choice. We had to beg the Emperor for a chance at redemption. All because of that maggot Ohm! Because of him, I had to sit there while that snake Jetta spat venom at me. I will make him pay for this disgrace a hundredfold! Why, Lord Bakut? What grieves you? Ugh. Nui Baba, not you. 
These halls have been dark without your unique fire to light them, my lord. I shall treasure this meeting when I return to my post on Fear Mountain. Master Jeddah honors me, yet I hear he has not done the same for you. Perhaps because of your... <sighs> embarrassing loss at the hands of those rebel scum. You faithful are in dire need of a lesson on how to speak to nobility. And I am certain you would be a most fearsome teacher. Regardless, you wrong me, Lord Bakut. I merely wish to aid you. <laughs> how could you help me? All of you claw at the heels of your god while ignoring his first teaching. He wished for men to be strong, not a pack of supplicating fools. So you do not need our power? I see. Then I pray you fare well in your battle at the border. For should you lose... Well, I doubt your uncle would give you a third chance. Or is this the fourth? <laughs> For all your stubborn words, you have some wisdom. You have seen what the faithful are capable of in battle. I know it. Father Duma's power is vast, and not to be looked down upon. Lord Jeddah even went so far as to offer the father his own daughters. Yes, it's true. Marla and Hestia both. In turn, the father rewarded Lord Jeddah with incredible magic. His own daughters? How dreadful. Do you see now, Lord Bakut? If you would taste of Duma's power, I will conduct the ceremony myself. Come to my abode. <laughs> Never. Victory over On would mean nothing if not won by my own hand. So prideful. Very well. But at least allow me to give you this. What is this? A mirror? One filled with my sorcery. Of course, I believe you when you say you have no need for such tricks. But one day, you may find yourself cornered and without recourse. If that day comes, shatter the mirror. It shall answer your call. I don't need such baubles. Are you certain? <laughs> Think of it as a safeguard if that helps. Something... Mm, just in case. May the tides turn in your favor, my lord. <laughs> Wow, what a chapter. Okay, so that is going to be it. Next episode, we're going to go save Delthea and hopefully end off the Act 3 part with Alm. That's what I'm aiming for. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, we, we met Nui Baba, and I remember in uh, when I had to play through Gaiden, uh, we came across Nui Baba. Of course, Nui Baba didn't look like that, but it was just a funny name that kind of stuck with me. And so when I read the name on top, I'm like, oh, Nui Baba! Yeah, what a silly name. But anyway, thanks for watching. You guys can indeed continue playing, uh, watching the playlist right over here. Uh, newest video on my channel there. And boom, hit that recommendations tab so you can learn all about some tips and tricks videos. Uh, right over here is where you guys can indeed click on that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.